A tossed cigarette breaks open a nearly 35-year-old murder case. The murder of Paul Aikman has gone unsolved since 1985. He was found stabbed to death at a rest stop along the Turner Turnpike. But as News 4's Lacey Lett found out, his family finally has some answers after DNA from a cigarette led investigators to make an arrest. A gruesome discovery on September 18th, 1985 near Chandler. Paul Aikman's body was found at a rest stop along the Turner Turnpike and he had been stabbed. The only clue as to who killed 35 year old Paul Aikman, discarded cigarette butts and a handprint inside the car. Paul had his wallet and everything was contained in it. So then uh, robbery was ruled out as a motive. Now, decades later, advancements in DNA led authorities to take another look at the case. Science has caught up to their detective work where now we're able to process those cigarette butts and that latent handprint and one of those cigarette butts came back to Earl Wilson. 55 year old Earl Wilson already in prison for sexual battery is now facing a new charge. First degree murder. Paul Aikman's picture and case featured on this 10 of clubs part of OSBI's cold case playing cards program. We take unidentified victims homicide victims, missing persons victims, and we will put them on our deck. Those cards are then sent to the Department of Corrections for prisoners to purchase. The goal is to get leads from inmates who may know something about a cold case. Those cards are also drawing attention to Oklahoma cold cases, giving victims families hope they'll find out what happened to their loved one. This family has waited 35 years for anything, just any kind of information about what happened to Paul. Lacey Lett, Oklahoma's News 4. That's very interesting technology that they use on those playing cards. And OSBI says they have hundreds of unsolved cases right now. This is the fourth cold case where charges have been filed since late 2018 by the OSBI cold case.